What's up, guys? Welcome to Whispering Willows. This is loud. Just lower it a bit, thank you. There's a lot of languages. Okay, switch forms, interact, inventory, movement, menu, cancel, hold to run. I have to hold both of those to run or just the one to run? Please, please, thank you. Notes. There aren't any notes! Diary, there aren't any diaries! So I have no idea what this game is. It was on sale. It came with a theme. It looked interesting. So I'm gonna play it. Uh, profile name. Can I change that? To be something that's not Elena? Let's see. Do I want it to be my name? Uh, sure. Oop. Nope, there's no space in my name. If anyone didn't know, that's my name. Start. Match and groundskeeper goes missing. Oh. Oh dear. The groundskeeper, my dad or my friend? I think it was my dad. Uh... Uh oh. Cause that happened. Chapter 1. Wortham's wor War. Who the hell's Wortham? So yeah, this is a 2D side-scroller. Elena Elkhorn. Oh no, Dad's amulet is gone. I can't leave without it. Okay. C can I... Oh, okay. I thought I'd lost it. The amulet. But inventory. My family's heirloom. It's been passed down countless generations. Okay. Okay, she'll automatically do that. Cool. New diary entry added. Willow's family catacombs. What is this place? I'm so lost and mom doesn't know where I am. But I'm supposed to be looking for dad. I have to find a way out of here and keep looking for him. I know that if I can just get out of here, I'll find some sign of my dad. I won't give up. Okay. We somehow ended up in the catacombs. So I have no idea what's in store for me. Human bones. But why? It's the catacombs. You, you gotta have human bones. Why are you going? Stop going. Girl, hear me girl. Your power calls to me. Alina, the amulet around your neck was crafted by the first high shaman of the Wantako tribe, my grandfather. It glows in the presence of spirits and boosts your shamanic powers. Let it be your guide. Whoa! What the absolute hell? Flying hawk. The spirit and body may drift from one another, but must be joined as one in the end. A fragmented life cannot be lived. I lost my body and look at me now, but perhaps you can help me find it. I shall reside within your amulet and teach you to find... Fend off the darkness. Okay. This is weird. I am me. There is a crack above that door. Use it to get to the other room. Woohoo! I'm a little wispy thing! Haha! <laughs> So, can I open the door for myself? Glowing objects can be possessed. Move closer and possess the switch lever. Boop! Up! Good work, Alina. Now we're to join your spirit and body. Boop! Well, that was weird. First contract. First contact trophy earned. Enter Flying Hawk. 
I can hardly believe it. I just met a ghost. His name is Flying Hawk, and he's one of my ancestors. He told me my amulet has power, and he taught me how to use it. Now I can take control of my spirit. This is just what I need to help find Dad. I wasn't feeling pretty. I was feeling pretty worried for a while, but I don't think anything could stop me now. Never say that, because something's gonna come along and stop you now. Then we're gonna keep looking. Crate. Well, what's in the crate? Can I look in the crate? Not curious enough to look inside. You are not me. New note at Flying Hawk 105. I soared through the sky as I sat atop the great eagle's bald head. I was carried further up and beyond the clouds until I sat with the stars. I watched as the gods molded the world and used their own bodies for the day. What? They tore out their hearts for the earth's core and their blood is the water we drink. We walk about their dirt flesh and rock bones. When all that was left were the hands they used to shape the world, their fingers became the trees that cover our land. It is to them that we owe everything, and we must honor our eternal bond and live in harmony with the Great Spirit. That's actually beautiful. Spirit Realm calls me more often than it did before. As High Shaman of the Quantico... Quant... Is it Quantico? Yeah. I must heed its call and relate to my people what the Great Spirit has shown me. Okay. Uh, that's it. Up we go. Okay. Ornate chest. Someone must have really loved this person. It's locked. There's a crescent moon shape on the door. Okay. Down we go. Go through the opening. Uh, nope, we're gonna look up here first. We're gonna go down there first. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm? I wonder what's in all these crates. Oh, I thought you weren't curious enough. Make up your mind. Uh, no, we're gonna stay on this thing here. Oop, pick up the note. Oh, no. Uh, Wortham's Willows, 2 out of 13. Oh, man. Wait, what was the first one? Wait. I can't do anything. I want to go back. What was the first one? Was the first one the diary? I don't know. Alright, my dearest Martha has fallen dreadfully ill. She's contracted a case of... Dysentery? I don't know how to read. <laughs> the, fishers, the physician we brought up with us believes she will live, but I am in a constant state of worry. Care for her day and night, surely. Surely she cannot care for herself. It pains me that she cannot see the beautiful land we pass through. I feel as though the sight of the world would do her well. But the physician has warned she mustn't move, nor be moved by any, else her fragile state could go into disarray. I pray to God that he will save her. I can do naught but wait and pray. Okay. There's too many ladders and places to go. Okay, what's down here? Well, I don't need to... It's already open. Wait. What? This wasn't where I already went. Maybe it'll close behind me or something. The coffin of Jeremiah Mode. This coffin looks like it was made in a rush. Well, that's rude. Oh, dear. Hi, what's up? Oh, hello. Ming Zhang. Wortham made this door without a keyhole to restrict access to all but himself. Nobody knows what's in there, though. I've only heard rumors. Okay, cool. See ya. Crypt door. Huh, no keyhole. I wonder how it opens. Can I go through the door? No. You wanna talk anymore? Oh, okay. You're just gonna tell me about that. How do I run again? It told me hold things to run, but I'm holding them nothing's happening. Maybe that will open the door and I can only get in there by using this. Woohoo! <laughs> nope, I was wrong. New. Okay. 
Okay. Can't do that then. Uh, did I go this way? Pulley system, but I want to go through here. New. Aha! This must do something to the door. So, can I? No, I can just see in here. Okay. These pulleys look like they work something below me. Maybe that crypt door will door down one level. Okay, well, how do I do it? Can I, can I press buttons? Can I do things? <laughs> Pressing buttons, nothing's happening. Okay. Let's go through here. Gonna get lost. Locked, so the door smeared with blood. Great. Okay, let's get out here. I love how fire just lights up wherever I go. What? Sure seems a lot of people have died here. No, they got moved here. It's locked, storage is written on the door. Hell, this kid. She doesn't know what a catacomb is. Okay. What? My cramp was in one of these. Coffin of Willard Haggard. Rip Willow's estate groundskeeper. Ceiling crack. Door's locked. I don't think my body would fit through that. This one will! You! Can I. Do, do, tip. There we go. Haha! -ha. Whoa. Aha! Switch! A key! No, I probably can't take the key. Switch! Boop! Aha! Thank you, ghost me. I got the key. Key to story area, storage area of some kind. So that's down below me, right? No, it's not directly below me because that's where the pulley system is. Uh, I think it was through the opening? And down here, right? Okay, we unlocked the door with the storage key and disappeared behind the door. <laughs> oh, it's red. I don't like that. <laughs> no. Your body stays here. <laughs> Why? Okay, it's in a cage, so that helps me a little bit. I don't want to go past the. Who are you? Anastasio Orba. Orbe. Arbor. This lever opens the crypt door. Wortham hid the lever in here to keep secrets from escaping. Okay. Thank you, sir. Up we go. So that does the pulley system? Oh dear. I feel like something heavy moved. Okay. Da -da -da. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> Note added. Wortham Willows. Okay, they're not gonna stack up. They're gonna go in order. Okay, so this is the first one. Can you stop? This day heralds the coming of a new dawn for me. The history books will sign, sing my praises, and the world over shall know of my deeds. I set up to settle the Savage West. With me, as always, is my trusted companion, Darby O'Halloran. It was enormous relief to know he would accompany me. He's far and away my most trusted friend. Does that sentence make sense? But I don't know what I do without him. I need this music to stop. Along with, our th along with us are 24 men that used to work with my father who are now under my employ. They will be crucial in the grunt work along the way. Also with me, of course, is my beautiful bride Martha, who is determined 
she jo who demanded she join me. Staying here in England, however, is young Marcus. He's already 16 years old. Almost a man. I thought it said six for a second. He shall continue his education and apprentice under his, my own father. He could be... He could have been... He could have no better a teacher, surely. The boy pleaded with me to come along, but I told him he needed to do what was right for the family business. Someone would need to look after it while I... Established myself in the West. He's a sharp lad, and I understood well the necessity of the sacrifice. And understood, sorry. I embraced him more tightly than ever I had dared to dared to do, but he'd soon be a man I knew he could take him. Okay, I want to leave this area. It's so loud. Why is this cage moving all by itself? It's not. Move. So there are red things that want to kill me. Blue things are good, red things are bad. Okay, so the crypt opened. Oh, that's good. I don't know why my nose is stuffy all of a sudden. I start to record and all of a sudden it's stuffy. Uh, how do I get down again? How do I get down again? Uh, how do I get down again? I could have sworn this was the way to get down, but uh, no. Yes, I realized I climbed up, but I meant okay. No, this is this is the way to go. That is it further over here. There it is. I wish I could run, but I like to wiggle walk. My knees look like they have faces on them. Don't they look like faces? The two dots above the little bump of the face. The little bump looks like a, a nose. And little faces. Da, 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 da. Oh! Wait, what? Did I. That door's not even there. Okay. Neat! It's a key with a crescent moon on the end. Alrighty! I know where that goes. I don't want to be here! Oh, dark. Oh, dark. Thing opening. I want to run. I want to run. Can I please run? Thank you, run. Run, 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 oh fuck, run, 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 this is why this was here, I need to open door, please open it, it passed out, return to your body and go, <laughs> don't be able to go through floors, please don't be able to go through floors, flying hawk, uh, trophy earned, I ain't afraid of no ghost, <laughs> it looks like the ghostbuster symbol, <laughs> A glowing darkness has plagued this place since my death. It festers beneath the surface like an infected boil. In exchange for my teachings, you must turn... Must in turn assist me, Elena. I need to find my body, and you're the only one who can help. I already agreed that I'd help you find your body. What are you telling me this for? Okay, and we got back, back up here to find the one with the crescent moon. I wish I could run again just to be faster. That thing was creepy, I don't want to be here no more. I don't remember where the door is. Is it up here? Is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Stairs! I'm actually pressing right, but okay. I'm outside! Alright. Evil unleashed. What? What on earth was that thing? I felt like I was living in one of my nightmares. I could feel it feeding on me, on my spirit. Ugh, I'm so tired, but I have to keep going. I'm the only one that can find my dad. The demon's gone now, and, I almost, and I'm almost—and i almost out of here. I promised Flying Hawk I'd find his body. I'm not sure, but I feel like the guest house is where I should look first. Okay. What's this way? Bush. I can't go through bush. It's like GTA, the bushes are invincible. Oh, I can run outdoors. Okay. <laughs> Look at me, you. Oh, I'm holding that or that. Got it. Don't have to hold both. What a neat old fountain. I'm surprised it still works. It's just plumbing. Leave the garden. Hmm, can't open it. But hey, I can talk to a person. Hello. Oh, child. Skyflower. Did you see the white men? I'm picking flowers for them. 
Flying Hawk says we should be peaceful. Oh, this is sad. And realistic. And, 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 oh man. The wood is so worn with age. Okay, give me this note. Uh, John Elkhorn, 9199. I've been hired as a groundkeeper. Oh, this is, this is the dad. I've been hired as groundskeeper of the Willows Mansion here in town. It's not my ideal work situation, but at least it's income for now. It should just be temporary for me anyway, but I can't stay unemployed with a family to provide for. I have to make sure I'll be able to send Elena to a good school and buy her things she needs. I was actually really lucky to come across this opportunity. The old groundskeeper suddenly decided he had enough of the place after 30 some years of watching it over, watching over it. He quit on the spot. It was an immediate hire position. I don't have much experience with this kind of thing, aside from the landscaping when I was 17 years old or so. But they needed someone and it would appear as though I'm that someone. Okay, why would he leave after just 30 years? He quit on the spot. That seems like something bad happened. What is this little thing here? Bush. Run outside! I'm sorry, child. Okay. Tree. Front of mansion. Got it, but I want to see other stuff first. Oh, so the guest house. I want to see what's on the other side, though. Gotta make sure I see everything. Don't know if there's collectibles yet or anything else besides the notes. And see, note! I found a note. Uh, this is where the will is seven out of thirteen. I'm gonna not read it yet. I want to read them in order. Hmm. I wish I had something to cut these with. Hi. Ooh, what happened to you? Petty Officer Holmes. I tried to take my girl into the old Willows Conservatory, but didn't have anything to cut vines with. Yeah, you didn't- what is your point of being here, sir? I understand, I need something to cut the vines. Go to the fr oh, there's two places to go to the front of the mansion, okay. Wait, what, what is this thing over here then? Conservatory door. Okay. Oh, observatory. Conservatory and observatory. Okay, two different things. <laughs> Got it. I know you said go to the guest house, but I want to go in here. Oh, that's stairs. Okay. Note. Uh, four. Okay, nope. We need three. Hello. What happened to your hands? Less rivers, I must admit. Frankly, I'm shocked. <laughs> I I see that you were shocked. Feels like I've been waiting around forever with my business meeting for Mr. Willows. The sun here is so bright and warm, I may just take a nap with it. He doesn't know he's dead. Wonderful. I need to unplug my phone really quick. It's doing a weird thing. Okay, go back to your body. Goodbye. Okay, dancers. Outside we go. To the guest house. I don't care. You're telling me I can't just climb in through that? Just kick the glass out and you'll find. And you'll find, and you'll be fine. <laughs> Forgot a word. Do 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 up the stairs. Do do into the guest house. Do 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 do. Coat mm -hmm. I Won't hang Dad's jacket there. Oh, this is her Dad's jacket. That's why I can't see her hands. That makes sense. Uh. Oh, that scared me. I don't know why. Well, you're blue, so you're nice. Hello, sir. You have vines all through you. Alonzo! Martinez. Hey there, little lady. Let's play a tune as pretty as you. Huh? Um, no, that's not it. Hmm. I must apologize, little lady. I can't remember how it goes. And I don't have my sheet music either. If you can find my sheet music, I'd love to play you a song. Sure. Now, can they not see my actual body, or are they just seeing my... 
fake body. Flying Hawk 3. Nope. We're gonna read these in order. I want to avoid. I want to avoid in general. I was gonna say I want to avoid opening stuff. <laughs> Chills. Okay, let's go in here first. Whew. Okay. Uh, note. Ah, three. Can I go up and down? Oh, I can go up and down here. Okay, so three. All my prayer, my devotion, all my devotion did nothing to save Martha. I do not even have the resources to build a proper casket for her. God has truly forsaken us both. I couldn't just leave her there in the desolate plains for that the rats and maggots to have her. No, I shall protect her even now, even in death. We were to have, we were to carve a home together out of the wilds of the west. She will come with me. She will come with us, and she'll not be. Excuse you. What? Uh, interned until I found a su suitable place for her. If any man dares to object to my decision to bring Martha to live us, no matter the reason, I shall, f in that very instant, shoot him dead. Okay. I do believe we have found the opposite location, opportune location, for our new home. A verdant glade surrounded by rivers teeming with fish and abundance of wild game. A complication exists, however. The glade is home to a tribe of savages called the Quantico. I knew it. God damn, Wartham. I have heard tell that they are peaceful folk, but it confounds my mind to think the savages with neither government nor laws could contain any amount of civility within their primitive brains. I hate this man, but I shall do my part as a member of the superior race and extend to them the decorum upon which I was most robustly reared. I shall conduct myself as though I were at business meeting with other refined gentlemen. I hate Ortham so much. What's in the bathtub? I think I'd just get dirtier in here. Why? I'm not telling you to take a bath! <sighs> as soon as that little girl said white man, I knew it. Though I do have to say, I love the song from Pocahontas called Savages because they both sing it and it's just like, oh, they're all, and they think, and that's the thing, it's a beautiful song, a beautiful movie. Is, uh, stuff. Hello. Ah, sir. We lived haggard. So many. So many slaughtered. All those natives and their blood on our hands. We'll be damned. Damned, I say. Our souls damned to hell. Well, you're damned to stay here. Mom would throw a fit if our nice china looked like that. Looked like what? Okay, so that's the bathroom over there. Okay, this- a note! Which one is this? This is the 90 number two first. Thank you. Mm. Stove. What a crazy looking stove. What year does this take place in? Because she's not using a phone for light or anything. So. But again, how old is this kid? I'm thinking like. She's either like 10. Or like fourteen, but I don't know. I don't know why those numbers come to my head. Ooh, up there. Where can I go? Black. Can I go through the thick? Ah, stuff. No, I don't mean to do that. Mhm. Mm Down I go. I can't possess this dresser. Yeah, I'm a dresser. I'm a dresser. Yeah. How far can I go? I'm gonna cover this guy's face. I will go even further. Woohoo! I'm a dresser. I'm a dresser. I'm a dresser. I can go as far as I want. Probably gotta go the entire way so that I can reach this place. I'm a dresser. I'm a dresser. Do 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 do. do. Gonna stop now. <laughs> Okay, open the door. Open and close curtain. Oh dear. Okay. It's bright. Can I go past the dresser? I can. 
Okay, open what? Oh, curtains. <laughs> There's gonna be something behind us at some point, I know it. Mm. Mannequin. It's so creepy, I expect it. I keep expecting it to move. Don't you dare. <laughs> the door's locked. It's fine by me. Sorry, what? I should stop making noises like that. Okay, but it's been about half an hour, so I'm gonna end this here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, if you like to subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Again, I have no idea what's going on. We're just trying to find our dad, and Native Americans got killed here, and... Oh dear. Uh, actually, no, we don't even know if it's Native American. They could Native anything. The little girl just said white men. So, we did bad stuff. That's all I know. Alright, see you guys in the next one.